So one more thing I wanted to point out about UI game objects is that they must exist under a canvas game object. So you can see this canvas was automatically created when we added in a drop down UI to our game. And this canvas game object contains a canvas component, a canvas scaler component, and a graphic raycaster. All these components are added by default and we can usually leave them as the default settings. But what this allows to happen is our rect transform UI game objects uh, to render on the canvas. So when we have UI components added to the canvas, the main difference is that these UI components are never going to move with respect to the camera. So if I uh, put this drop down menu in the bottom right hand corner over here uh, inside the canvas, then when we go to game, it's going to draw on the screen. And we do have a camera in the scene. It's not following anything at the moment. We would have to write a follower script for that. But if the camera ever moves inside the scene, these UI components will not move. They don't have any perspective or viewing angle with respect to the camera and the scene. They are simply a layer that goes on top of things. So you would use uh, the canvas often for drawing things like how much money a player has, how much health is left, uh, possibly what weapons or items they have equipped. So for any non-canvas UI game object, if I add it to the scene, and let's adjust the position a little bit, and maybe change this bright so we can actually see it in there. So for all of these other game objects that exist outside of the canvas, uh, whether or not they draw on screen depends completely on whether the camera is looking at them or not. So if I go to this game tab over here, but I adjust the position of the camera, you can see, oh, the UI doesn't move, but the object appears to move because the camera is moving. The camera is not looking at this object. Anymore. And of course, you can move the sprites as well, changing their position within the game world, including Z axis if you ever are working in a 3D game and not a 2D game. Aside from that, there's a few minor differences between any game object that might appear on the canvas rather than the game itself. Another thing that you might notice here is that when a item has a rect transform, it works at a different scale than objects in the game world itself. So you can see here these game objects are working in terms of game units, and a game unit is basically determined by what size uh, you have the sprite drawing at. So if we take a look at some sprite sheets that I've imported, if I set the pixels per unit on that sprite sheet to 512, then that means 512 pixels of this sprite is the equivalent to one unit in the game world. But then items inside of the UI are based on pixel values, and those pixel values, well, the size is going to be relative to the screen size. So if you have a scene that's 640 pixels by 360 pixels, like I currently have it set up over here, here. and you can define your own custom sizes by clicking on this drop down and going to the plus then that means if i take one of these canvas elements and i set the value to be equal to the screen size then it will draw itself all the way across the screen that also means if i set something like the position x to 50 we're talking about 50 pixels away from the anchor point you can see here anchor points i currently have it set to the center so it's 50 pixels off center so here would be the center roughly, and then this is the center area for the uh, game objects. So it's drawing about right here, which is what we would expect. So beyond that, there is a couple minor differences between uh, game objects outside of the canvas and those inside. For one thing, uh, if you want to render an image in the canvas, you use an image script, which is specifically for drawing on the canvas UI. UI components are also gonna have these canvas renderer components attached to them so that they can render on the canvas. And when you want to render an image as a 2D sprite image on a game object that's in the game world, you use a sprite renderer instead. So you don't use image on actual game players or game enemies. You use image when you're talking about the canvas UI. But aside from that, all game objects in your scene follow the same basic structure. It's all about adding components to give them extra functionality and accessing the values in those components like the transform in order to achieve what you want inside of the game world. If that's moving something's position, changing its scale, making it visible or invisible, or changing a value on one of the components like a health total.